At Cogitat, we build core brainwave decoding technology that lets anyone convert their thoughts into actions. Do you think that mind control games will be possible? Yes, please develop them. I would love to play with them. <laughs> We use brainwaves that are usually created with actual movement um, by transferring the like waves to the imag imagined uh, yeah. movements. So and what do you think is the potential of this technology? I mean, it would be fantastic. Uh, for example, for people with disabilities, uh, if they could use their brainwave to steer a vehicle or so, it would give them a lot of mobility. It would also interesting, be interesting for people who go sailing or do movement in space or so. They have their hands free and can use their brain as an additional hand. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, Yeah. I believe if, uh, if you develop the technique further, it might be possible to, to play games with your mind only. Okay. And I mean, again, people with Parkinson's disease or other disabilities might be able to still play even though they can't drive a car anymore. <laughs> I was just trying to be relaxed. And I then felt like when I was really relaxed and when I went back, I started moving. Then I was like, so let me try and keep that approach going. Oh my God. Yeah. So yeah, I think it worth as well to try and it. I mean, using your mind to do things, that's basically, well, in the future, that's basically telekinesis. So <laughs> if I could lift something with my mind, I guess. I mean, the power of the mind is interesting. The first one was physical, I had to understand the dynamics. The second game was mind-blowing. Um, I had to visualize my hand. I had to look at them and imagine the movement. And just start and see the action in the game was fantastic. It was so Do you think that mind control games will be possible? Yes, please develop them. I would love to play with them. <laughs> Uh, also because I have what you call the banana finger. I always do mistakes and times that jump. So I don't know if maybe something mind control might help me perform bad video games. Oh, I thought I should have jumped and I did it and press it at the right time. So it's not just for uh, video games. I think it can help a lot for other application. When you think about, um, I know this is a jump, about uh, remote surgery. I know there's a um, direct control between the surgeons uh, and the machine, but if there's also an aid, uh, the mind control that can help in helping in handling the tools, I think that might improve that technique. So I don't think it's just for video games. There's other applications, I can see them. So we tried to use a cognitive device which measures the brain waves and senses the movements in a real life game. It felt very real when we were doing the robo game. It's new and it's it's fun, it's something that we've never tried before, so why not? And what do you think of the potential? Like, what, what do you think is the potential of this technology? I think if this technology is like worked on more and it's smoother, it's going to be the future after VR, AI, this is what's going to come up in the next 5 to 10 years. Cogitat. Just think it.